Art free folks of women in action. I'm just going to do this one little quick video one. We have Shannon Stone, Cold Steel. Can't remember much about this film. Cold Steel. Silent Victim with Courtney Cox. This is a pretty underrated movie too. Very good film actually. That one. I don't think remember some of my other films being pretty good as well. But there we go. We've got Sally Fields in I for an eye also features a cameo by Cynthia Rothrock in this film. But not many people knew that. Naked Lives with Shannon Tweed. Actually she turned up another film they own as well, just thinking about it. The Shadow Warriors of Hulk Hogan. Forgot to feature them here as well. Damn it. We got Sweet Justice. Now this film is sweet. And it's got Kathleen Kipmott in one of the roles in this movie. A really, really good film, that one. Magnificent Warriors. Michelle Young in that one. We got Erica Laniac turns up in this one. Got a feature in the Baywatch part. Chasers. Now this is a fun movie. Also Tom Benninger's in it. A sniper thing. We have Kathy Long in The Strangler. Really good film, actually. I remember watching it. I didn't really think much of it at the time. I have to rewatch that one. I've also got to rewatch this movie. Nice. Lance Hedgerson and Gary Daniels in it as well. Kathy Long's first film. We got Push to the Limit. And the Magnificent Mimi. We got a really good film by uh, Spitfire. A very really underrated movie. If you can find this film, you'll be very, very lucky. This film is great. I need to look out for that one if I was you. We have Kathleen Swanson movies. This is another great film. If you can find it, track it down. A great movie. Chase. I get that. I can't remember watching this film, but. I'm sure I have at one point. I think we're going to wrap it up for this one now. I'm going to finish off. Well, it's going to be a short part. This one actually going to be short. No, we'll finish it off by here. We're going to finish it off by here. We might just get out of the way. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Andrew Jolie, Brian Pitt. Really good film, this one. I remember watching that one back in the day. Not seen it for a long time. We have. Cheyenne with Bobby Phillips. She pops up in TC2000 as well. This is by uh, her. She's one of the lean villains in TC. Shit, I made the spoiler, damn it. Never mind. TC2000. Gangland with Catherine Kitbot. Pops up in that one. Catherine yeah, Kipman also pops up in a few of these in the films. CIA, target and Alec codename Alexa. And alongside Lenzo Lamis, then husband. And target Alexa too. Final Impact. So I've turned up in another film as well. Final Round, I believe it's called. Then got that one on backup. Oh no! Go away! Damn lethal again! This film just haunted me. Go away! Nasty movie. Yeah, we got Viper. I do like this film actually. Really good Lens on Lamis film, Viper. One of his more underrated ones. Kimberly Cates is in this film. It's a really good film. We have. Tank Girl? She just a girl? She is the girl, the girl I want. A really fun over the top movie, Tank Girl. I remember watching that one back in the day. We watch that one at some point. <clears throat> Long Kiss Goodnight, which is a really good Samuel Jackson and Gina Davis movie. As well as Gina Davis and the Beetlejuice as well. I forgot about that one. Say another two times, it'll pop up. We have Reformed Schoolgirls, a really good film, Winning in Prison. One of the better ones, actually. We 
Now, Tina Davis pops up in this movie I watched a while back. Found my own noise. Ah, one of my favourite Demi Moore movies. G.I. Jane. My favourite Demi Moore film. I used to own strip tees, but no longer do, unfortunately. <coughs> ah, I found the productions now, Miss Kajinati, one and two. <coughs> Flight for this one, not folks, now, mate. This is my voice. American Angels, Magnificent Mimi. Really good film, and yes, it is a backup before you say anything. I cannot get this film on DVD any other way. Explosive Force 2, Force to Fight. Not sure where the actress is, but it's a darn good film, this one. We have Bad Wire. Yes, guilty pleasure. We do own this film, the Pam Anderson. Bad Wire. <laughs> I think about this film. Good cop, bad cop. A really good film. Not the Lenzo Lamas one, no. <laughs> the Pam Anderson one. Hey, it is blown away. I wonder where that went. Corey Haim, Corey Freeman, and Nicole, they got blown away. Whew. That certainly will blow you away, that one. Oh, man. What a film. Uh, Trish Stratus pops up now for the Stratus faction in. Or Bailing Forces. Really good film. She also pops up in this film. Gridlocked. With, uh, oh, what's his damn name? Dominic Priscilla of Prison Break. And also Minnie Jones as well as Danny Glover. <coughs> we don't want Death Stalker. And we'll do Tanya Roberts in Beastmaster. We featured in one of my early videos. Sun Stone in the co No Contest. Really another really good film and the rated action. Really good film that one. New Home King of the Fighters in the movie. Michelle Maggie Q in it of the Kita. Dead or Alive, we do own that one, DOA. This movie's really good. We do own Silk. She's so effing smooth. <laughs> this is a really good movie, that one, that we watch at some point. Really good. I believe it's currently on Prime at the moment. And we do own a lot, a lot of Cynthia Roth Rock films. We show a few here, just a little quick video of the few we got here by here. As well as the magazines. Black Belt Combat. combat. We do have uh, Sword of Justice, Guardian Angel, Tiger Claws, Martial Law. This one is currently on sale if somebody's looking for it. And Martial Law 2. And the first one on a nice Blu ray DVD. Ah, Blu ray. Anyway, that's going to do it for this update. We'll catch you again.